Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have little Apollonia with me and today we're going to be doing a bit of a vlog really. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I've made bigger versions of the rope bridge um, that I made for Aristeas. Remember I made a small one for him so I've kind of gone big for these guys and uh, yeah I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm also going to show you um, some name label making as well. So. Um, you know it's it's just labels for their tanks so if someone else is looking after my snakes while I'm away or something then they'll know who's who. <laughs> um, I'm also going to be showing you some photos that I've had printed out so they're going to go on the front of uh, the snakes tanks as well so as I say people know uh, sort of who to look out for like with this little girl they'll know that Apollonia is a yellow snake and if for some reason she gets out they'll know who to look for um, but she won't because I'm very OCD with the locks but anyway so yeah so it's going to be a bit of a vlog um, so yeah so without any further ado I shall just get straight on with that and thanks very much for watching. I have these two boxes here um, and yeah so I'm going to open them I think one's got substrate in and one has got um, some other bits and bobs in so yeah so we'll see which exciting one I get to open first right this one Ugh. Right, okay, so I have had a little sneaky peek in these boxes and they've both got a bit of everything of what I ordered, if you see what I mean. So yeah, so I'm just gonna open this one. And we have lots of packaging. Everywhere. So I ordered these flexi sticks things these flexi sticks um, because I'm going to be making um, a little rope bridge the same as what I made for Aristeas so yeah so I've got these and um, this looks like a really good size like I'll be able to use like ropes on it and glue it and stuff but this one is massive I'm sure this should be a large I've ordered medium but you know this looks like a large to me this one is a medium and you can see the difference like in the sticks I mean it's like I don't know if you can no, you can't really see on the back but this has got real thick sticks on it and this one's got nice little slim ones so we'll see how we get on with that but yeah so that's that um, and our lovely bag of Lignocell for when I clean them out next week. That there. Right, that's that box done. Again, more recycling. Um, so yeah, so I've got, that's, see, that's another one which has got slightly thicker sticks on it and that one's got thinner ones. So, and um, there we go, another lot of thin medium flexi sticks. Um, so yeah, so I've got five of these obviously because my other five snakes, I want them to have these little bro uh, these little rope bridges in um, and I think next week when I clean them out, I think what I might do so that I can spread out how much I've got to do, um, I will clean them out and each tank will, um, as I say, have a thorough clean and then I will put the little rope bridges that I'm going to make in the tanks but I'll probably do two tanks on one day, the next two tanks the next day and then the next two tanks after that so as you know I've got six snakes so yeah so that's it that's the little unboxing of flexi sticks uh, for my project and yet again another good old bag of Lignocell so yeah, so that's that. So now I've got boxes to get rid of and I'm just gonna get on and do that. So yes, there we go. Um, I will leave it there for now. Okay, so the next thing that I ordered that I've kind of already opened um, is I bought some rope um, for the little rope bridge thingies. Excuse all the dust coming off them. 
Um, but yeah, so I've ordered this rope and I'm going to put up the prices and like the sizes of everything. Um, you know, just in case you might want to make something similar yourselves. Um, so yeah, so I bought this rope and I got that off of Amazon and uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get on with making those uh, little rope bridges and uh, we'll just see how it goes. I have uh, measured the rope to the size of the vivariums and there we go. So I've cut this rope to size and I've uh, kind of put a little bit of tape on the end of it and stuff so that's well and truly like stuck on there so the uh, ends don't fray and um, because I'll probably use nails to like I'll push the rope onto the nails and it should hold the snakes when they go on them so yeah so basically I've got two of these Oops, there we go, I've got two ropes and obviously it's going to be one rope on one side, one rope on the other. So yeah, I'm going to get on with uh, gluing those rope bridges on. Wish me luck, especially with the bigger sticks. <laughs> So here we are, all completed. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it um, and I can't wait to get them in their tanks. It's like a swing. <laughs> right, so I have one more thing that um, it's not going to go in the snake's tanks but it's going to be going along the outside. So I bought this from Amazon. I'll put up what the um, what it actually is and the price and the length and all the rest of it. So, but I bought this. I have to say I cannot remember the name of it for the life of me right now. But yeah, so I got this, and it's just going to hang along like the front of their tanks just to make it a bit more kind of outdoorsy looking. Um, so yeah, so I got that one and then I got another one. So there's these two and as I say, they're just going to go along the front of the tanks. Um, I might get another one for Australia because uh, as I say, I've just concentrated on my corn snakes at the minute. Um, and little boy, I might just put something up for him as well. So anyway, I'm going to put those up and, oh excuse me. <laughs> I also, um, I've got some photos come in. And I have also designed um, like their name labels to be printed out. So um, yeah, so I've been on Pixar and I've designed their little name labels. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put those on the front of their tank because I think if I go away on holiday or if I'm poorly again or anything like that, and someone's got to look after my snakes, I literally label everything so that it's easy for, well, not only myself, to see what's what but for other people if they are looking after my snakes so yeah so I've designed their little name labels um, and I'm going to get those printed out um, as I say I'm just waiting for the photos to come and I'll put those together but yeah so that's it thus far So my tanks finally complete. 
So as you can see, oh, there's uh, a scorpion <laughs> just there. And that's his uh, little rope bridge thing. And as you can see, Cadassius has got the same. That's the scorpion's new little name tag. And that's Cadassius's new little name tag and photo, of course. That's Apollonia's tank with the rope bridge, her new name tag and photo. <laughs> Someone's found the rope bridge. And she's in a nice clean tank. <laughs> Feeny's new name tag and photo and a little rope bridge. Australia's little rope bridge. New name and photo. Or new name tag and photo even. And Aristeus has got his uh, photo and new name tag thingy. And obviously you've seen his rope bridge before. But yeah, so that's it. With all the new name tags and the rope bridge and the new foliage, it looks great. I still need to get Aristeus and Astraea something for theirs, but uh, for now, that's it. So as you can see, the rope bridges went really well and they're all fixed up in their tanks and they're looking awesome. So I'm really pleased with those. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe that'll give you some ideas for your snakes or reptiles tanks. And the name designing and printing went really well. So um, I had to get some cartridges for my printer and um, I hadn't used it for a while, but, um, but yeah. So uh, anyway, I managed to get those printed out and they look great and the photos look awesome too. So um, I got those from free prints, by the way, I'll put up any links in the description box. But yeah, so um, if you did enjoy that video, please like and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, please hit that bell notification and press all. So you'll get updates on my latest videos and stuff. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that, then uh, just leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, from myself and the squiggly Apollonia. <laughs> But from myself and Apollonia, it is goodbye. And we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> Crazy girl. <laughs>